In this video, we'll explore the topics and concepts that will be covered in the experiments which accompany the QNET Rotary Inverted Pendulum Trainer. This trainer is designed to teach and demonstrate the fundamentals of inverted pendulum balance and control. The accompanying experiments cover topics of modeling, control optimization, balance control, friction compensation, energy control, and hybrid control. Using the QNET Rotary Inverted Pendulum Trainer with NI LabVIEW, we can introduce and investigate real-world applications of these topics, applying theory to simulation and experimentation. The first topic we'll explore is modeling. In the simple modeling experiment, we use the pendulum to simulate a control task for a crane. The pendulum imitates a load hanging from a crane, and the movement of the arm imitates movement of the crane. This type of modeling is done in industry to develop strategies to compensate for undesired physical limitations of a system, such as damping oscillations or overcoming friction. In this experiment, we'll be qualitatively investigating the differences between a system with damping and a system without damping by manually perturbing the pendulum. We'll also be investigating the friction in the rotary arm while it's at rest. We do this by modifying our voltage offset until we notice the pendulum start moving. Lastly, We'll be analyzing the moment of inertia of the pendulum. We can click on the disturbance button to perturb the pendulum, and by measuring the amount of time it takes to swing back and forth, we can calculate the moment of inertia. In the balance control design experiment, we investigate control optimization using linear quadratic regulator or LQR theory. This type of analysis is performed on many different types of control systems in order to minimize or maximize certain criteria, such as the response time or the overshoot. We begin by exploring the parameters of our state space model. We can see our model parameters and our A, B, C, and D matrices here. On the open loop analysis tab, we can see the location of the open loop poles. By modifying one of the parameters, we can investigate the change to the location of the open loop poles and get an idea of how that parameter affects the system. In the simulation tab, we can examine the effects of the QLQR weighting matrix on the arm and pendulum response. We can modify the values in the matrix and investigate the change in the graph. We can immediately see a change in the optimal gain indicator when this change is made. Afterward, we define a number of conditions, such as peak time and peak voltage, and attempt to find a Q matrix which can achieve these conditions. In the balance control implementation experiment, we investigate balance control. Balance control is used in stabilization systems such as rocket stabilization, traction control in vehicles, and the Segway personal transporter. In the lab for this experiment, we manually rotate the pendulum into an upright position and qualitatively investigate the arm angle and pendulum angle graphs. Next, we investigate the response of the system when we give a square wave command to the arm. We can then implement our balance controller using the gains we calculated during the control optimization process earlier. Once again, we have to manually rotate the pendulum into an upright position. We can examine the system response and validate whether or not the system can achieve the conditions outlined in the control optimization process. Next, we look at friction compensation. We examine the behavior of the arm angle plot while the pendulum is balancing. Notice that the arm is oscillating. To compensate for this, we implement a dither signal and we qualitatively examine the effects of changing the dither voltage and frequency. In the final experiment, swing up control, we investigate energy control and hybrid control. The purpose of energy control is to control the pendulum in such a way that the friction is constant. This is used to swing the pendulum into an inverted position. Once the pendulum is inverted, the control system switches back to the balance control system investigated previously. This dual purpose control system is called a hybrid control system and is used in processes where different phases of the process require different control types. In the energy control experiment, we manually rotate the pendulum through different positions and investigate the effect on the pendulum energy plot. 
We also investigate the energy of a balancing pendulum. Next, we activate the swing up process. We can examine the effect of changing the reference energy on the swing up process and on the response plots. We can also examine the effect of changing the swing up control gain. Finally, we increase the reference energy parameter until the pendulum has enough energy to go vertical and record our result. Once the pendulum has reached this position, the pendulum switches to the balance controller as seen in the balance control experiment. In this video, we explored the topics and concepts that will be covered in the experiments which accompany the QNET Rotary Inverted Pendulum Trainer. The topics of interest include modeling, control optimization, balance control, friction compensation, energy control, and hybrid control.